do you find it so difficult to draw eyeliner on your hooded eyes? With whatever you choose to draw eyeliner with, powder, pencil, gel, or liquid eyeliner. Hello everyone, my name is Kelly and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you the easiest and fastest technique to pull off natural eyeliner with whatever you choose to draw it with. I try my best to use everything from the drugstore in this video so it's more beginner friendly and you don't have to break the bank to look pretty. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for more videos. Let's begin with the classic type of eyeliner, powder. I will use the black eyeshadow in this bite size palette from e.l.f. It's only $3 so it's very affordable for beginners. You also need a brush to apply and I prefer an angle brush. I love using my Anastasia Beverly Hills angle brow brush to draw eyeliner but it can be a little pricey for some people. That's why I will use this angle brush from a nail art brush set from Amazon. In comparison, it's a bit shorter but it works the same as my Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. It doesn't have to be expensive to work well. What you need to look for is the size and the thinness of the brush. The thinner the brush, the sharper the eyeliner. Actually, there are so many brushes you can use to draw eyeliner with. I just recommend the angle brush as it's the best and the easiest to draw eyeliner for beginners in my experience. Now I will show you the technique to achieve the most natural eyeliner look. I put the mirror at my eye level and look straight to the mirror. I always tell you about my mirror position because it's very important when drawing eyeliner. If you look close enough, you can see there is a line continuing my upper lash line right at the outer corner. If you cannot see it on your eyes, you can stretch out your skin a little bit like this. It will show up better. But we don't need to pull our skin too much to draw the eyeliner. Instead, I put my finger about 1 inch away from my outer corner and press my skin down with a very gentle pressure, just enough for me to see that line. Then all I have to do is put the brush right at that line and draw the liner. How easy is that? Then I make it a little bit longer by extending it straight outwards but I don't make it very long to keep it looking natural then when I raise my eyebrow there's a gap between the liner and my lash line I just fill in that gap so that it will look more connected after that I drag the liner up to my iris and I usually stop here because this is how the liner looks natural and flattering on my hooded eyes but you can definitely draw all the way up to the inner corner if you like as long as you keep the eyeliner really thin and close to the lash line you can keep the raccoon eyes away just try and experience to see what looks best on your eye shapes so i just finished the eyeliner on one side in less than 30 seconds next i will use the same technique but with a different type of eyeliner on my other eye, a pencil eyeliner. I will use the Tattoo Studio Eyeliner Pencil from Maybelline. But before using, I always sharpen it to make the point sharp to create a thin liner and also to help get rid of the surface dirt or bacteria and prevent eye infection. After that, I do the same technique as before. Gently press down the skin and draw the liner. Then I will use the angle brush to extend it and blend it into the skin. You can also use your nail to make it look more blended. Remember to do one eye at a time and work fast if the pencil you use dries down fast. Opt for waterproof formulas instead of coarse pencil if you want your eyeliner to stay put all day and smudge free. 
I usually timeline my waterline to give the eye a complete look but today I do everything without timelining for you to see the liners by themselves. For both powder and pencil eyeliner, I think you can skip timelining as the liners look quite soft and natural. But for the next types of eyeliner, I think they look better with timelining as they are more pigmented and prominent. So now it's time to see how gel eyeliner works. I'm using the Eye Studio gel liner from Maybelline. And for this type of eyeliner, we also need a brush. So I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow brush number 14 for you to see that it works just the same as the other one. I take some gel liner out on the back of my hand and pick up a little bit with the brush just enough to draw the liner don't take too much it can be really messy for gel and cream formulas it's better to use a spatula to scoop out the product to keep everything hygienic then just apply the technique as a gel liner it goes on very easily and the dry down time is not super fast so you can take your time to perfect the liner this is why i always recommend gel liner for beginners it's easy to apply and work with it also has better payoff and lasting power next up we have liquid eyeliner we commonly see them in a pen form or an inkwell form with a brush tip or a felt tip. I'm gonna use a pen eyeliner with a brush tip first. This is the Epic Ink Liner Pen from NYX Cosmetics. The brush has loose flexible bristles that will give us a very fine and precise line. With the same technique, I just easily put on the liner in a few seconds. You don't need a separate brush for this type of eyeliner, so it's more convenient. But to be honest, it can take a bit more practice for beginners to get the hang of. And if you have shaky hands, I don't think liquid eyeliner is a good choice for you. Let's take a look at the gel eyeliner and liquid eyeliner pen side by side. As you can see, the liners on both sides are much more pigmented than the powder and pencil eyeliner. They make my eye look quite unfinished. That's why I recommend tie lining. It will help close the gap in between my lashes and make the eye look more completed. Lastly, I will try the Inkwell liquid liner with a felt tip. This is the Wet n Wild H2O Proof Liquid Eyeliner. This felt tip is solid and stiffer than the brush tip because I have sensitive skin, especially around my eyes. I found the felt tip very hard to apply and can cause some discomfort. I don't like the felt tip, but the formula of this liquid eyeliner is really good. It doesn't budge, smear or smudge, and it's absolutely waterproof. I just finished the liner with ease using the technique. The felt tip is quite thick. I did spend more time to perfect it as I want to create a thin liner. And here's how the liquid eyeliners look. The results look similar but I spend less time with the brush tip pen. That's why the felt tip eyeliner is my least favorite. With this technique, the eyeliner look really natural. It just extends our upper lash line. It's soft, thin, and very forgiving on hooded eyes. And the most important thing is you don't have to spend 50 minutes to do eyeliner. If you have never drawn eyeliner before, go with powder, pencil, or gel eyeliner. Then, if you want, you can put the liquid eyeliner on top for intensity and lasting power and create a more dramatic look. Don't worry too much if you cannot make it perfect the first time you try. Everything takes practice. Just have fun with makeup and you'll be good at it in no time. What type of eyeliner do you prefer after watching this video? Please let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in my next videos. Bye.